hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session in today's session we're going to be looking at how the ES 550 tick what I call the entry chart and the ES 1597 tick my anchor chart my higher time frame can work together and if you follow the strategy that I'm about to lay out for you I can guarantee it will dramatically improve your trading results now remember also what I cover here applies to all markets and time frames now for my members you'll actually see me moving forward marking these up on my charts the following way if you see a 34 then um, a forward slash in a 21 what this means is I have a bounce on the 34 and also on my entry chart and on my anchor chart I have a bounce there as well or if for an example you see 8934 it means I have an 89b on my entry chart on my general trading chart that is for the general public and I have a 34b on my anchor chart and my anchor chart traders is generally uh, around three times higher than my trading chart being the 550 tick now 550 is not a fib number 1597 is so uh, for our fib fans I know I, I've always used the 550 sorry let me get this right uh, uh, I also trade a 1000 volume which is a lot quicker generally speaking than the 550 tick but for the sake of the example here today I'll use the 550 and remember on other time frames you uh, or other markets you may need to adjust or you will need to adjust uh, to discover what is the ideal tick count or volume or time based chart so uh, uh, I should say the uh, principle applies that I'm about to show you to all markets time frames futures Forex or stocks now before we get into it of course uh, CFTC requires I put up our uh, disclaimer here if you're new to my channel uh, please stop and read this disclaimer bottom line is traders you should never trade with money that you can't afford to lose and gain the right education now we will be going to a uh, look at the charts in a moment if you go to the bottom right hand corner you can expand that and you'll see the full chart now everything that I cover the trade setups etc are covered comprehensively in the day traders fast track program I don't want to turn this into a big uh, it's not actually meant to be a sales uh, recording here so I'm not going to say too much but please subscribe to my channel if you don't have my ebook please go to my website I'll also answer any questions so if you'd like to find out more about my trading style and what I do it I'm happy to have a 20 minute Skype call with you uh, if trading has not been good to you in the past well actually I'm jumping ahead one slide <laughs> but go to my website discover more about what I do so just on that point I started to talk about look if trading has not worked for you in the past the past does not equal the future you have the power to change your direction where you now head in 99% of the cases when I sit down with traders and I have hundreds of members globally I have a number of corporate clients where I work with their traders when I sit down and we analyze it uh, nine times out of ten it's where they've broken their own rules they've taken impulse trades they, they don't have a trading plan they uh, don't follow their money management rules etc treat your past as a learning experience you can change your future if it is to be it is up to me you can do this now most of you are aware I'm a great Tony Robbins fan and as Tony says the path to success is to take massive determined action the beautiful thing about learning how to trade traders is you don't have to at least nowadays put up real cash until you master the setups in simulation so as you know I always recommend you master at least 100 trades on the simulator before you move to real cash uh, now when I say master 100 trades on the simulator I'm not talking about having 100 winning trades in a row I'm talking about executing 100 trades where you followed the rules that is very very important before you go live now just before we go to the charts know thy personality now remember traders not all markets are exactly the same if you look at CL the black gold 
oil is totally different than the ES and the NQ and the Forex markets uh, if you look at the British pound is uh, totally different to the Aussie dollar so every market has its own personality and I recommend until you're consistently profitable focus on one market become a specialist get to know its personality now let's now go and have a look at some charts and let's get stuck into this strategy uh, I hope you've got a pad and notebook handy because I'm going to give you some tips that will change your trading career if you follow these now first of all I'm the greatest preacher when it comes to keeping things simple now I have my indicators down the bottom 99% of the time traders when I'm trading I only need my EMAs that I have here on the top of the chart I rarely even refer to these uh, tools down the bottom now that's what they are by the way they're what I call tools you can use them but of course all indicators or I should say nearly all indicators are what we call derivatives of price which means they're going to always be lagging generally speaking one to three candles depending on how sensitive the setting is that you have so I'm not going to turn this into a an indicator uh, webinar today but I just wanted to mention that because some new traders first look at this chart and say wow there's so much on it traders let me tell you there's not many things on my my charts at all compared to many others so let's get stuck into what today's session is about now what I have on this chart I have two time frames on the left hand side I have what we call my entry chart or my trading chart this is where I execute my trades on the right I have what I call an anchor chart a time frame approximately three times higher than my anchor chart now your end your sorry my entry chart I should say now the anchor chart can be five times higher can be two times higher whatever suits you now for the experienced traders watching this what I would say is take say to yourself as you watch this what can I learn from this and apply to my own trading if you're already doing something that's absolutely brilliant keep doing it just look at how this may enhance so this also because there are a number of steps if you're trading one time frame uh, in one market it makes it easier so here's what we're looking for we're looking for EMA bounces on both our entry chart and on our anchor chart now due to the fractal natures nature of markets uh, the setups work on all time frames or markets but they'll appear at different times meaning if we look down here what I have here is what I call a 289 B at the same time they're bouncing on my EMAs and my white candle here is my super scalper but uh, what we can see here is the 89 B I have an 89 B and let me just show you here if we go over here and at this point here we can see I have a bounce on my 34 and my 34 EMA and my 89 EMA on my anchor chart and on my entry chart I have a bounce on the 200 and on the 89 notice how they're bouncing at the same time if I then come over here we can see here I've got a we call this a t25 it's a 21 also a 21 EMA it's also back on this candle here for my members it's as you can see very plainly it's a t2 a beautiful t2 setup if we look over here we can see that we have uh, it's above the 8 EMA on the anchor chart and we have a very strong trend now what you may choose to do until you're consistently profitable you may wait until you have multiple bounces and this is something that I was talking to some traders today in the US and in Canada and I said to them okay what I recommend you do is start keeping the statistics on these because there it will dramatically improve your results so we can see here we've had a nice big deep pullback to the 89 so we've got uh, and also um, you, it's hard for you to see there all but now you can see you can see on the anchor chart you've the tail is touching the pivot so I have a pivot bounce and a 34 bounce and it's an 89 bounce on my entry chart okay now just one other comment I just wanted to mention here um, many of you and including the general public besides members have heard me talk a lot about the t3 setups which was a very very high probability mean reversion trade is that if you wait 
for divergence as you can see here okay so you've got a nice t3 there but wait for your divergence it'll increase your probability a, a great deal there now what is also interesting here is that you have a t3 on your anchor chart as well so you get a t3 set up there and on your entry chart with divergence okay so that it dramatically improves the probability of the trade now let's move along I'll just quickly scroll this along I don't want to lose too much of information I've typed up a few notes here for you here uh, just a quick one here and let's go back to oh no I might just leave this here so you can see it uh, and with that point traders if you haven't listened to my videos or watched my videos before these are raw real and unscripted okay <laughs> I don't edit them I don't have a script so if I jump around a little bit um, please excuse me what I wanted to mention I would generally have this fully expanded and I have the anchor chart on my screen above this one so if you're trading with limited amount of screens you, you can do this if you would like to have the full screen as I generally like to have you might you may choose to have your anchor chart on a screen next door or above it just makes it uh, to me a little more um, easy to see but I'll keep it open here so I can record so you can see what I'm talking about now over here um, we've got here our classic 34b it's a t25 we can it's a little hard for you to see there um, just pull this across so it's a t25 on our anchor chart and a t25 actually a 34b on our entry chart just a simple 34b uh, we've got here it's also a t25 and a t2 by the way um, you've got uh, a couple of different setups here now moving along here getting back to the main purpose of this video let's have a look here so what we've got here is a nice pullback this if I remember correctly was a little uh, news announcements here we had a pullback so I've got an 89b on my entry chart and over here let me just pull this back so you can see it a little better okay so here we are here on our anchor chart and here we are so we've got an 89b on the entry chart and a 34b on the anchor chart now up the top here I just wanted to point out too for my general members we have a nice uh, t3 I'm starting to get it's not really divergence because with a divergence I like to see two waves but we can see here our platinum is actually falling away but I do have a t3 on the anchor chart now we go back over here and we can see we've got a t3 again and so price has come down we have a 200b let me scroll along make it a little easier for you so we have a 200b on the entry chart on our general trading chart and we have an 89b over here on the anchor chart so you can can you see the correlation here now some traders may choose to have up to three charts and let me just pull this down for you so what I've got here is the screen above and we can see here the screen this is my 1597 tick chart on the anchor and I have a time frame nearly three times higher again of that uh, which is an even higher time frame which is a 4181 tick bar so it's a 4181 bar, bar which is a uh, fib number of course now personally I don't generally refer to the or I haven't been really actively referring to the anchor charts let alone three however I will say if you're a patient trader look for bounces on the three remember this is not a game of how many trades a day this is about high probability trading so you may consider as we have professional traders referring to three time frames and killing it so personally uh, I would just use I used to use purely the 200 however I'm really becoming hooked on having my 1597 along with the 550 old dogs uh, can be taught new tricks <laughs> I've been trading for 24 years but sometimes it takes uh, an old dog longer to learn or to get it through but hey there may be a better way 
now what my setups are exactly the same all I'm looking at here by using the anchor chart is an added confirmation that the trend on the higher time frame and the candles on my anchor chart are confirming the push now most of you are aware I'm what I call a momentum trader I'm a scalper I'm in for four to six ticks am I and I'm out that is my style you may choose to stay in longer and how you stay in longer on these trades is to take as many trades after a t20 because remember a t20 generally signifies a new trend um, so I'm a scalper the way I look at it get in uh, get out get paid that's my strategy uh, and also as a momentum trader I like to see the market moving so I like to see the candles on the higher time frame working now let's go back to our other time frame so here we are back again uh, now just a comment I put down here uh, was this here that uh, indicators are tools traders you know once again you can take a tradesman say a carbon day you can give him the, the best tools you possibly can buy but if he doesn't know how to use those tools correctly he's still going to do a lousy job likewise with indicators of course um, uh, many of you have found me on YouTube if you and, and been referred to me but for ones that have found me it's really on YouTube it's more relevant here um, some of you are pure price action traders and you may not even believe in additional indicators as I mentioned I'm mainly a price action trader I have everything I need with my EMAs in the top of the screen except I like to look for this bit of divergence now with these though the you know the old saying is that the um, uh, the second mouse always gets the cheese <laughs> okay let me say that again the second mouse always gets the cheese the second mouse gets to walk away with the cheese so an indicator may slow you down one two three candles but it also can be a nice confirmation tool so back on this here uh, here you can see let me move this along on the right you can see it right there we've got a nice uh, a 200 and an 89b on the entry chart it's a 34b on the anchor chart can you now see that now what we also have here is a really nice um, uh, t3 remember we're waiting for a close below the trigger line here as we've got it here but what have we also got we've got a t3 on the higher time frame on the anchor chart so I, we were about to finish this video here uh, let me just quickly show you this here okay so I've got a, um, uh, a nice really nice t3 here uh, on the entry on my trading chart I've even got divergence which really sweetens it up so I've got um, a great mean reversion trade and uh, and always remember traders uh, and this is for members I love a t20 when it's off a really good t3 why is that well a really good uh, t3 it's like an it's an overextended elastic band or rubber band if you like it always sling back or fling back the other way it's a slingshot sort of so you can see it flicks right back and so your t tweet 20s which is right there and it was just back here on the other one they work really well when you've got a fantastic t3 and look at your t3 on your anchor chart and you can see it over here look at this fantastic pull away this rapid violet pull away virtually turned out to be an 89b all right a really nice sweet trade 200b um, uh, bounce here for our standard trading you end up then with um, a virtually a t7 now I love the t7s now I've mentioned this in the members area a number of times when you get your t7s uh, they're all, they're very accurate or they are a great trade off a 200 B which is what you've got there and I just wanted to mention here if it looks like a duck quacks like a duck walks like a duck it is a duck meaning that here you can see that this double bottom is out by one tick okay so that still qualifies in my opinion I'll still use that so traders let me now wrap this up we've been going for uh, almost 20 minutes so the, let, let me just summarize this the way the markets work is that the setups work the day trading fast track programs work the day traders fast track program setups work on all time frames and all markets when you have multiple setups on different time frames 
it's really weighing the odds it's giving you the house edge and in the end as traders what we're after is the edge in the market looking for multiple bounces or multiple setups in the same market direction on multiple markets or time frames is really giving you that edge and that's what you want as a trader so traders thank you for watching this recording if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do uh, and members uh, that are watching this I'm going to be doing uh, a rundown on the euro stock X 50 uh, probably over the weekend now it's uh, Friday the 7th of the 10th 2016 now just a very quick glimpse and for those uh, general public that are interested in trading the European markets euro stock X 50 has an incredible uh, turnover generally speaking around 1.2 million contracts a day also so big um, turnover it works out to be somewhere around 1150 12 dollars depends on the dollar US per point per tick and I really like trading the 133 tick however things have been a little slow on the market and you could trade the 89 tick a nice fib number uh, you could trade that every day in virtually every market condition and I'm even considering dropping from the 133 down to the 189 for my own trading just to give me a few more trades as a scalper now on that point for those listening or those that are not members and perhaps won't get to see my euro stock x50 members only recording uh, so I'll use an 89 tick uh, for my entry chart and I'll use a 233 tick as my anchor chart so both fib numbers about three times higher so let me say that again is that an 89 and a 233 for my anchor chart so hopefully uh, this is helpful so uh, traders subscribe to my channel please go to my website any questions go to my website and also happy to have a 20 minute complimentary chat with you and remembering of course traders our trading room is getting closer so very very soon you'll be able to join our live trading room uh, for both the London session we're working on and the New York session we'll be running two rooms thank you traders